Hey guys, Memorial Day weekend and Dee and I went to East Sparta slash Canton KOA campground and it might be the opposite. It might be Canton East Sparta KOA campground. So forgive me if I got that wrong. I'll put it on the screen. But uh, we had a great time. The weather didn't behave for us too much that weekend. So I didn't get a lot of footage, but I did get a small campground tour, not a world famous campground ground tour like uh, Jarrett and Val's but uh, it's a it's a campground tour of some sort and uh, we'll leave some info here next time we go we'll get some better footage so hey let's roll the intro Apologies guys, we didn't get many videos because the weather was pretty bad out here, but we were here Memorial Day weekend. This is uh, East Sparta Canton Campground. This is site 28 and back of me. This is our site. Uh, plenty of room for a 33 foot Class C and our toad and uh, very level site too. Propane is available right here. This is a very nice camp store and I can't say enough about the staff of this place. And then the swimming pool is over there. And there are plenty other reviews showing that. They have some cabins. They're back in the back there, but this is one right here, K1. Again, patio site, fire ring, very nice. And then this is the primitive tent area over here. This KOA, KOA has the Founders Award from KOA. Some more full hookup sites over here where they pull in. They're actually pull-throughs, but they're different pull-throughs than you're used to because they're kind of in a line. more primitive sites, a couple pop-ups in here. And then going up the hill, this is that stacking action that I was talking about earlier. So we recommend the campground 100%, but it is crowded. What you will see is several of these cell repeater or these Wi-Fi repeaters to the campground. The Wi-Fi is okay, but it was very hard to stream. There is the back side of our Class C up there, the bird. And um, so we're up at the top of the hill by the road and then they all come down from there. This is the park down here for the kids. It's very well. Uh, maintained. I can't tell you how the grounds are so well maintained. We've been at some KOAs lately that because of the rain have just been all grass. This one you can tell they're picking up the grass when they cut it and it's just it's very it's very good and then down here on this bend are some pull through patio sites with gas grills and nice furniture and then down past that which I'm not gonna walk because it's starting to rain is the K9 park so again um, the only reason we give this four out of five stars on our rating scale is because of the stacking in the campers like they do. But other than that, we think it's a we think it's an absolutely awesome location. So we'll cut up this way here and try not to get rained on. You can see it's pretty easy for people to get level. Um, like even this site over here is, is very level. That's site 18 and it shows uh, it's a very level site. 
And wherever they have really steep grades, they put these little walls, retainer walls, to keep the erosion away, which is awesome too. And I think it's good that, um, like if you look up at our camper, we were able to get level with the automatic levelers, but there are some people in here using um, Anderson blocks. And over here, probably our biggest complaint, if we had any, was that on move-in day Friday, the diesel truck came by here, we were kind of at the level of their exhaust. So, but you can tell that the site's really level. And there's Bailey. Let's see if we can zoom in on him. Hey Bailey, 